Parrott. Alan Chamberlain in charge of this one. And uh, it'll be John Parrott to set us off. As I say, just remind you again, it's best of 17, first to nine. We heard commentary from John Virgo and Ted Lowe. Somebody please draw those curtains together at the top there. Now, referee uh, Alan Chamberlain Thank has you, spotted that uh, up at the Thank back you. of the auditorium. Thank you. Some curtains adrift. There they are. It's just letting a little light in, and it's surprising, uh, small things like that. It's so off-putting when you're down at the table and firing in that direction. These two stars are fairly evenly matched. I believe, John, uh, they've met about eight times. Um, each of one eight, uh, I should say, of their meetings. Yes, and on paper it looks a very level game, Ted. Just basing it on their last matches, I think John Parrott probably played a little bit better than James did, even though John had a close match. He played a very good young player, as you said, in Mark Williams, and produced the goods at the right time. James Watanar, even though he won more comfortably, to me, just struggled a little bit. And he hasn't started the season very well. been a professional for five years now and he's potted his way to the third in the ranking uh, position number three that's behind uh, Stephen Hendry number one and Steve Davis number two Yes, and I was reading Steve Davis out of this tournament now, and if James Watanar was to get to the, the final of this tournament, provisionally, Nine. he will move up to number two in the rankings. So, he's got an awful lot to play for. made that look easy and it wasn't playing at that speed across the nap still in good position Seventeen.
Played to make contact 24. with the edge of that cluster. And in fact, the red he wanted to be on was the one he made contact with. So, end of break. James Watson now, 24. <laughs> John Parrott, looking at a plant, you shouldn't have to hit it very thin to make it. Of course, the cue ball will be going back in the bulk area, so it's a shot for nothing. Well spotted. One. A surprising miss. Didn't have to do anything with the cue ball, just popped the brown. You'd be disappointed. One. I think you'd be more disappointed, uh, John, if uh, James gets going here. Sixteen. James Watson now. Sixteen. <laughs> yes, he might pay for that. Two on the trot. One. Seven. Well, he's got them nicely spread now. Yes, yeah, so he's just asking for the black ball to be cleaned. And this probably is the key shot to this frame. If you can pop this, surely you'll win the frame at this visit. A face there that rarely shows emotion. 
23. This black to put the frame beyond the reach of uh, John without snookers. He's missed two simple ones. 31. He's also missed out on this first frame. No. James Watanar, 46. So he's done enough to take the first frame. Yes, indeed he had. Uh, John Parrott, a bit of practice after that, but the uh, first one to Watanar. In play here, in the second, no score. Obviously, he was hoping for a position on the black there. Yellow. James Watson, now. One. John has once again left uh, a couple of long ones. This young man is quite fond of these long pots. time but uh, he's not left anything too easy John Parrott, one. That's amazing, John, isn't it? Yes, I think he's inferring there that he got a bad contact. There's two browns he's missed similar to that. Unbelievable. He's one of the best potters in the world. One. Well, unless James can get through those two reds to the brown, if he can, he'll be a little bit fortunate. Oh, it looks as though he might be able to. Well, maybe that look says he can't. He certainly can't get through to the black, which I'm certainly is the ball he played for. In fact, John Brown is the only ball he can hit. Coloured ball, that is.
try okay, to swerve it slightly with a little bit of right hand side. <clears throat> Don't think he's left anything again though. I think normally we'd see James play thin off the right hand side of the Reds on the right hand side of the table. The Browns in the way of that shot. This is going to be difficult to get it back into Bork. And in the end, decided he couldn't. And taking all things into consideration, that's not a bad shot. Just a containing safety, but he didn't have much more of an option. And when we say that James Watanar this season has not shown his, his best form, I think that's a perfect example. He used to pop those in, well, 99 times out of 100. And he's just missing the long ones. And that was his strength.
lớn Seventeen. Mm. It would appear that things are just going a little awkward for John, for his liking. John Parrott, 18. Well, I don't know what to say about this, Ted. I've never seen John Parrott miss so many easy shots. And now he seems completely unsettled, doesn't he? Very hesitant on uh, a number of his shots in that uh, short break. Yes, that one there didn't have to do much with the cue ball. One. It's a case of stun the pinking. Of course, we get so used to these players potting, break building, and they make the game Six. look so easy. And occasionally, when we see them miss one or two easy shots, as John Parrott has done, we're very surprised. But. Of course, Ted, as you know and I know, the Seven. game isn't that easy, is it? No, it certainly isn't. Twelve, and James Watson. <laughs> They're both at it now. Yes, yeah, that was a poor shot from James Watson. I mean, if you just look at the position of the cue ball, I mean, what colour was he going to be on if the red had gone in? So a very scrappy opening to this match. Well, I think we may see John Parrott take this red on the, just to the left of the blue. Mainly because I can't really see a safety shot. I can't see a path back to the balk end. So I think he may go for this. And if he got the cue ball somewhere in the middle of the top cushion, he'd be on the pink. As I say, I think it's the only shot he's got on.
second. Fifteen. Twenty-two. Roll the blue to go thirty-two points in front. So then he'll be just looking for one more red and a colour. And he should clinch this second frame. Seven. John Parrott, 34. Yes, he's made sure of it. I'm going to get better and better. Yeah, sounding confident and looking confident here today. Good afternoon. Welcome to Snooker on 2, all the way through until 6 o'clock. Today's the day that completes the semi-final lineup in this year's Raw Live Assurance United Kingdom Championship. Let's see how it's taking shape. Stephen Hendry then through, beating Darren Morgan 9-3, and he will now play either Peter Ebden or Dave Harold, the man who knocked out Alex Higgins. They play to a finish here tonight. And uh, James Watanar and John Parrott sharing the first two. You may well have seen them in our earlier programme on BBC One. Whoever wins that plays Ken Doherty, and Doherty, of course, the man who last night here knocked out the then reigning champion, Ronnie O'Sullivan. After that uh, match last night, Ronnie O'Sullivan, the 18-year-old, the best talent with that, and like the best new talent in snooker, had a pretty emotional press conference. I think he was almost in tears, and he actually said he was thinking of giving up the game. He'd been thinking about it for quite a little while. He said, if I can't be the best, I don't want to play. Well, naturally, it made uh, very big headlines indeed. Now, the man who knows Ronnie O'Sullivan better than anybody is the world champion, Stephen Hendry. They're great friends off the table. They go out to eat together, always having a joke. And, of course, it was Hendry who was knocked out of the final last year by Ronnie himself. And a few moments ago, at a press conference, Stephen Hendry told us what he thought about it all and Ronnie's situation. After myself, and I'm not being big-headed, I, I, Ronnie hits the ball better than anyone in the game, you know. Um, and, and he's got so, too much talent. I mean, he won't give up. Um, as I said, it's the first time he's went through a, a bad spell of playing and, and, you know, it's hurt his confidence a little bit because, um, you know, the way he won this tournament last year was, was incredible. But, um, you know, I said last year and I've said a few times that you, you can't go on playing like that forever and he's, uh, you know, he, he'll learn and he'll come back a stronger player for it. There's no doubt about that. It's hard to explain unless you're a sportsman, you know, to lose is, 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 is the worst feeling in the world. Um, you know, and especially it's the first first title that he's defended, so he's, he's lost something that, that he had, um, which is an even worse feeling. But you know, he'll get over it in a couple of days. He'll, he'll be he'll be back practicing again, and, and you know, he'll be a stronger player for it. You know. Well, I think we'll all agree with that. You can't retire at 18, can you? 
come on, he'll get over it. Anyway, uh, he's out of the championship. Ken Doherty is through, and Doherty now plays one of the two men we're going to see now. In play this afternoon, James Watanar, the world's number three, against John Parrott, who won the title here in 91, and went on to become champion of the world. Only three people have ever done that in the same year. One all, then. Let's go straight into the next they play, which is obviously frame three. It'll be John Parrott to break off for us. Watch the shots and listen to the words, which will come from John Virgo and Ted Lowe. It's a good break from John Parrott. Cue ball near the bulk cushion. The loose red is snookered. Well, he's just run past that cluster. He made contact, but I think there's a red into the right centre here. I think he could pop this and stun it in for the black. Don't believe him much. Should he miss it? Just don't think he's got his timing right yet, John Parrott. Just seems to be a little quick on the shot. Obviously a big match for both players looking for a place in the semi-final of the United Kingdom Championship. And it's just showing at the moment. Cutting this one back into this left top pocket, I think. Lucky for a big colour. Green ball. One. James Watterman. Well, I don't think he really wanted to take that green on, but there wasn't really a safety. And he's left a chance for John Parrott. I don't think the blue or pink are available, so I'm going to run through for the black. And played it well. Eight. Well, he slammed that one in a bit quick, John, and tried to break them up. Yeah, seems to have nothing left. Yes, in actual fact, I think he's looking at that red up near the vault line, just to the left of the yellow. Obviously can just get through to play the pot. A good one it is. But he tried to come off the side cushion and behind the green. Got into the jaws of the pocket. No colour really to to keep the break going. So I think it's only a safety shot left. John
Well, this is a chance for James Watanar. Red's nicely One. spread. Black available into both corners. Usually expecting to score heavy from chances like this. Watanar has a very calm temperament, an advantageous quality in uh, top-class snooker. Well, if he's not on the red into the right centre, he'll be a little bit disappointed with that. No, he's not. So, this one more difficult. Into the yellow pocket. Clean as a whistle. He's still in perfect position. Thirty-three. Forty. I think that's the end of the red blacks for the time being. Can't get on the black off this red. Forty-one. So going up for. Yellow or brown, probably the yellow. He looks at the brown, he looks a little bit straight. Yes, yellow's the choice. No, brown's the choice. Well, he won't be as close to the red here as he would have liked, I don't think. If he'd have played the yellow, he could have got closer to this red near the pink spot. But of course, he's such a good potter. 45. You think you can get this? <laughs> 46. Well, he's on the black. So this could be a frame winning chance now. Run out of position a couple of times, but you always felt 53. with the balls open like this that he could make a frame winning contribution. 54. And that's what he's done. And this red will be sufficient. 62. 69. <coughs> 70. Tried to put that red on, but instead he's put the black there. Seventy and the frame, James Watson. Yes, John Parrott decides to stay in his chair. So James Watson now leads by two frames to one.
one. Well, he played a shot to nothing. Nothing's what he's got. John Parrott, one. Got the snooker, but you'd be very surprised if James Watson and I couldn't find a, a path off two cushions, probably, to come in the back of that cluster. Quite a wide target. Well, I thought he'd been coming down the other side of the table, but shouldn't have a problem. Well, this red may cut. Yes, I think it will, John. I just felt if he came down the other side, there wasn't much chance of leaving this red. One. Played that with a terrific amount of check side on the cue ball. So easily bringing that cue ball back. In fact, I think he's brought it back too far. Fine. He'll settle for that. Oh. Yes, and that's where John Parrott's cue power came in. Really got the cue ball riddling into the, the reds. And he's just having it cleaned. He's going to play a little run through, and he doesn't want a bad contact here. Nothing to do with a bad contact. Well, that was a misjudgment. It isn't very often you see that, uh, John, is it? One. Yes, Ted, they weren't that close together. I mean, you can sometimes play that shot, frightened to play in a push shot, but uh, there was a, a gap. Well enough, I mean, he's made one or two silly errors so far in this match. Now, will James go for the uh, extreme right red into the center pocket here? Terrific shot, really. <laughs> Nicely judged. Twenty-four. Well, decision for James here. Does he just pot the red, or does he run through him potting this red and disturb the cluster? Twenty-five. That's what he's decided, and he has not. One red on. He could go into him again here. Now he'd be wishing he hadn't. 
Well, I think he may have a red in the left corner, but it's certainly nothing easy. Thirty-six. Thirty-seven. Forty-four. Forty-five. Fifty. Just under hit that slightly, but you still expect him to get this red into the right corner. 37 point the lead now. Fifty-one. And John Parrott could be forgiven, Ted, thinking that these should have been his. Yes, that puts James 42 points ahead. 55. And uh, John Parrott will be a little disappointed to go to the interval. Three frames to one down. 56. I feel, though, John, it's fair to say that uh, James Watanar has made less mistakes than John has so far in this match. Oh, yes, Ted, I couldn't agree with you more. And also, when he does get in amongst the balls, when particularly around the black, he's looking a lot more dangerous. There you see it. 50 points ahead. Still 51 left on the table. And he's not come easy. So the ready he needs is a difficult one. Using the spider. What is he? Eight or nine foot away. Tough shot. Yes, difficult to see the tip of the queue from that distance. But he's got it. Well, that was absolutely brilliant. 64. That was so difficult. And it went in clean as a whistle. He's won the frame now. And disappointment is across the face of John Barrett. Seventy-one. Seventy-two. Tried to move that last red. Seventy-eight. No, but James his break of 78 is sufficient. A very nice break indeed, and as they go to the interval, it's James Watanar leading. Three frames to one. 
I was saying these two have played a number of matches against each other. There's really nothing much to split them. Eight wins each, only a slight frame advantage there to Watanar. Uh, his last victory over John was in the Embassy World Championship, a quarter final of 93, but John's beaten him here in the semi final of 91 when he went on to win the title, and in the last meeting, that was the final of the 1944. 1994, they're not that old, International Open. But that's history. What matters now is this match and the next frame, frame five, just underway. Nothing scored yet, and this is what an arm. One. James Watson Well, our camera shows you there wasn't a great deal of room there. But, uh... John Parrott on the green is a maybe one loose red he can get to. Nicely on the black, but not quite the right angle. There's one loose red, but in, I think he'll be running into that. Well, I'm electing to play the pink. That way, it made it quite comfortable for him to get on this loose red. But of course, this is the last easy red, so. Important off this red, he gets a good angle on the colour to disturb that bunch of reds. Well. That's it. So, pop the black and open them up. Foul. <laughs> John Parrott, 12. James Watanar. There's no pocket seven. down there. Well, I know he played it with a lot of pace, but just catching the jaw of the pocket has caused it to bounce off the table, which obviously is... Here, here we go. Just rattled in the jaws, and with that pace, caused the black to leave the bed of the table. And... One. Well, it was a chance for John Parrott, and... Of course, now it's a great chance for James Watanar. Red's nicely spread, as he's proved so, much, so far in this match. When he gets these type of opportunities, he scores off them.
18. Thirty two. Thirty-three. Well, that puts him 43 points ahead and uh, still has a couple of reds available. Forty-one. Forty-six. James Watson, now forty-six. Well, it'd be disappointed with that. He was just needing one more red in a colour. I'm sure, he can't believe he missed that red. John Parrott seems completely off song. Yes, that was a pressure ball, though, Ted, and he knew if he, he missed it, he'd almost certainly lose the frame. Well, One. having said that, that's a poor positional shot. James, having a look at the scoreboard, he's 50 points in front, but there's still a possible 51 left. So I'll probably play this pink, maybe into the left centre as a shot for nothing. if it goes in, John Parrott needs snookers, but it hasn't. James it's a tall order for John Parrott to get 51 points, the way the Reds are situated, but at least he doesn't need a snooker. Be right behind the brown. Yes, that's an excellent shot, and of course, John Parrott has got not only got to hit the red, but he's got to get it safe. Good it <laughs> keeps his hopes alive.
played this with perfect strength so as not to disturb that red too much. That's a great shot. One. Yes, and surely now that's the flame winner. John Parrott needs a couple of snookers. James Watanar, one. One. Must take the black, of course. He's overcut it. John Parrott won, the frame conceded. Yes, he frame. concedes James after Watson. that. And now drops three frames behind. Watson now leads four frames to one. John Parrott, who hasn't really settled down so far in this match, and, well, apart from a 41 break he made in the first frame, when it was over, it's got to be said, he's not had a break over 40 since. All the breaks have been coming from his opponent, and there's nothing gives your opponent peace of mind Six. if you're getting in and not scoring. So John Parrott Seven. needs to... String a, a nice break together here. Just to let James know he's about and playing well. Twenty-eight. Twenty-nine. Now, is he going to get any luck in uh, splitting these up? I think he might have a job splitting them, Ted. He doesn't look to have a good angle to me. <laughs> He's enough. Foul. John Parrott, 29. James Watanar, 7. Yes, he made a bad mistake there. Left himself too straight on the black. Now, is it a free ball? Referee checking to see. It'll be the end the left-hand red of the cluster as to whether James could hit that because of course you can't be snookered by another red referee says no so James Watanar just left with a safety that's not bad in actual fact James Watanar's safety play today Ted is for him, been quite good, I think. I'd agree. He's getting that cue ball fairly near the bolt cushion on all his safety shots.
John was a long way off there. At least he's got his, the cue ball down on the bolt cushion. Decision time here for John. He has that red in the middle of the table for the left corner. He could pot it, stun across the top cushion for the black. But if he missed it, he'd almost certainly be leaving James Watanara a chance. And 4 1 down, can he afford to take the risk? He's going for it. Good shot, brave shot. One. Yes, courageous that. And I think that shot proves that he's certainly got the confidence, John. He's just not getting it together. But if he's got the confidence to play shots like that, then he must be feeling good inside. John Parrott. Nine. And I think that sums it up. He's playing with confidence, but for some reason he's just missing the simplest of balls. I can only put that down to lack of concentration. His mind must be somewhere else. Should never miss a shot like that. Not at this level. And he knows it. One. Now, he's looking to see if the, the one loose red will go in this corner. We'll have a look as well. Doesn't look like, so pot the green and try and cannon into the cluster. That's unlucky. Twelve. He's still got a pot into the left centre, but it's certainly not easy. for it. James Watson now. Twelve. Well, you watching at home, I'm sure, would agree that had he played that slowly, it would have gone. But at that pace, of course, there was no chance. Well, he's got the red, but he won't be happy with his position. He can pot the green, but it's going to take some shot to pot that green and get back down the table on the reds.
John Parrott. I think there was a little bit of frustration in that shot. The green has come up the table and rather spoilt the uh, chance of the black here. Well, that was a ambitious shot that James Watanar played, and he's been lucky. But of course, John Parrott's made so many s silly mistakes, really. That's all you can call them, that the ball sometimes never forgive you. He's thinking uh, ahead, splitting the reds as he has done. He's hoping that John's going to make another mistake here. Twenty points the difference at the moment. But, of course, the important thing is the frames. I think John Parrott th thought he might be leaving a red into the right center, but he left the cue ball close to the cushion to make it not so inviting to play. And James Watanar is just going to play a safety. And he didn't play it very well, caught that red much too thick. And this is a chance for John Parrott. Red's nicely spread, 20 point lead. Big shot this one. If he can pot this red, he should win the frame. One. All the balls now out into the center of the table. Seventeen. <clears throat> Eighteen. Such a good potter and break builder when he's buzzing. Yes, he's now 24. well past the winning post in this frame, but he's not buzzing yet, Ted. And he's needed... Well... A good three chances to 25. clinch this frame. 
You won't get that in them all. So, just three colours left now, and John Ferret pulls one frame back. 42. There's just two frames in it now. 48. And still two frames to go in this first session. They played two sessions, the best of 17 frames. The black disappears. And John Parrott is two frames to four behind. Well, following the usual shadow boxing to start the frame, it's uh, James Six. Watanar who took the plunge. Fifteen. 
17. <clears throat> Choice this time, either pink or black. Yes, if he plays the black, it looks almost certain he's going to come off the top cushion and try and cannon into the cluster. Now, is he on anything? One into Thank the top you. left hand pocket, John. Thirty-four. James keeps looking at the two reds together as if they might be a plant. He's having another look into the left corner. If they are, pink into the left center. Just bring the cue ball back about a foot. And, oh, is he on them? Referee just asking James to hang on a minute. I don't think the pink will spot, so I'm trying to get as close to his spot as he can in a direct line with the the top cushion. <coughs> He's still not happy, Alan Chamberlain. It mustn't be touching the, the red. Four. Happy now. Forty one. And now James has decided to play for this plant in the left corner pocket. He must be pretty certain it's on, Ted. Well, I don't think it's... He's made it, you see, yes. <laughs> it wasn't directly in line with the pocket, John. I think he might go down the table this time to the one uh, to the right of the green. James Watanar, 56. That was more or less train ball. Expecting him to get it. This frame's not over yet. Two, four, six, seven reds still there. Well, that was a chance gone begging. I don't expect John Parrott to miss those. He's usually so good with this, isn't he, JV? Yes, he's certainly not played to his strengths today, Ted. She's long potting and break building. One. Didn't go in as clean as it might. 
And I think that's the frame winner. Six. Color needed. Sixty eight points ahead, with only sixty seven well. points there. Twenty. Can he make this plant? Not quite. James Watson, R twenty, and the freight. But John Clare concedes. Watson are leading now by three frames again at five frames to two. <coughs> the tie hero breaks off then. This is the final frame of the first session, and he's also guaranteed himself a lead in this first session by leading at the moment five frames to two. I think that spoilt the pot for the red nearest the black. One. John badly needs to win this last frame. Foul. John Parrott won. James Watson are four. It never rains, but what it pours. Yes, it's obvious what he was trying to do, but too much pace really. Didn't give chance for the side to take effect off the cushion. Friend, but you can see by John's expression it's certainly not easy and even if he pots it I'm not certain there'll be a colour after it but he'll have to clear it away from that pocket played it well but it's almost impossible to get position on the black so only a safety Possible bought colour, but there wouldn't be any value in playing a pot on one of those. John Parrott, one.
Justified applause. That was an excellent safety shot from John. Well, maybe you can pop this. Four. Asking for the extension this time. Nineteen. Twenty. So pot the black cannon into the cluster. Didn't played that too well. Twenty seven. No, it looks as though he's very unlucky there. John Parrott, 27. Well, that's a terrific shot. Think of John Parrott and all balls. It looks a formality to come off the cushion and run into this cluster, but he's got to get it right. If he slides past them, he leaves a red on. Played it well.
Well, that was a good shot from John Parrott. <laughs> Couldn't quite hit as much as that board he was like. Played a swerve, a lot of right-hand side. Judged it to perfection. And the good safety has brought a chance, although... James Watanar has left the red over the corner. As you can see, there's quite a distance between the cue ball and object ball. That's just about the longest distance you can leave them, isn't it? Corner to corner, John. Played it well. Played a lot of top, played it hard. You get that checking effect off the cushion. And nicely on the the pink 26 point lead this is a frame winning opportunity and a big frame for John Parrott reduces arrears at the mid-session interval to only two frames considering he's not been at his best I suppose he'll have to be satisfied with that if he was to lose this one 6-2 behind going in Second. the final session tall order Well, he's having to use the rest, so this may dictate his choice of shot. Yes, he's playing safe. He's happy with the lead of 37 points at the moment. Foul and a miss. Six. John Parrott. being replaced after the miss given by our referee, Alan Chamberlain. Yes, I must admit, when uh, James Watt and I was playing this shot, coming off the left or the right-hand side cushion as we look at it, it didn't look to have the angle to me. It'll be interesting to see if he tries it again. He only just missed the brown the first time. I don't think that's the way to go. I think he's got to come off this top cushion with a trace aside. Well, I played it with pace and he'll be happy with that. Quite interesting me eh? so far in this match. No, neither player has, has won a frame you didn't expect them to win. 
No one's made a comeback. This is surely an opportunity for John Parrott to clinch the frame. <laughs> He's not too sure. I think his problem, this Freddy's looking out into the right corner. I think he's going to have to use the rest, and he doesn't want to be using that implement. This is a more difficult pot, though. Gets on a colour. That should be end of this frame. He's on the green just about. Not ideal. His expression there says, Why does this always happen to me? Looks set now. Four. So we're just looking for one more red. That should clinch it. 13. And I don't think John Parrott's really played that bad. It's just some of the easy shots he's missed. He certainly looked confident enough and played the positive shots. Just one or two unexpected misses. And of course, James Watanar. Quite capable of taking advantage of any mistakes that are made by any player. 20. Interestingly poised, Ted. Yes, indeed. And I think John Parrott will be uh, reasonably satisfied to be going into the interval 27. of the match, just two frames down. He's well aware that he's missed a lot of easy balls and... Uh, the scoreline could be a lot different. But at 5-3, gives him a chance for the second session of nine frames to be played. 35. 36. <coughs> 42. No, can't give him that. But they're giving the frame. The session closes then with two frames in it. James Watanar leading. Five frames to three.